<laughs> What's up guys, this is Adam with Power Sports Builds, and this is Griff. And today we're going to be doing a restoration on my 96 c 2 XP. So let's get right to it. Alright, well in the previous videos we got this c 2 XP running all the way and functioning properly. So if you guys want to watch those, go check out the jet ski build series on my YouTube channel. But the next step is going to be to restore it. As you can see, it's not in the best condition. Um, it's missing some pieces and it looks pretty old. So we're going to see if we can restore it all the way today. This dash, I guess you call it, is really faded. And this thing, it should all be like this color, but it's about white. So we're going to see if we can get it all to that original yellow again. It'll help it look a lot better. This handlebar piece is not going to be restorable. On another video, I tried to restore it on my Sea-Doo GTI, and it just wasn't working. So I ordered a cover for this one. And the seat cover's downstairs, and it, but it was really torn up, so we're going to fix that as well. And then obviously here up front, we're missing that black trim piece that goes on the nose here. So we're going to slap a new one of those on. I'm not going to go into this because it was pretty easy, but I just put bolts through and then put a nut on the other side since the threads and the fiberglass were stripped out. Now we got that front trim piece on, and it looks a lot better now. I mean, you don't have that obviously that missing piece so this definitely helps out with the looks okay now we're gonna move on to the seat cover here and it's obviously you can see it's pretty trashed um, a lot of rips and then this foam goes down so there's like about an inch drop in the foam so we're gonna have to fix that as well I picked up this new Ripco product seat cover for pretty cheap but it looks pretty good and seems to be good quality Normally I go really into depth on the stuff I'm explaining, but in this video I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the transformations and if something comes up like me changing the seat cover, I'll put the link to that video where I go more into depth in the top right corner so you guys can go check that out. Since I haven't really gone over filling in cracks or holes in seat covers before, what I do for that is I take a caulking gun and I'll put the products that I use, the type of filler that I use down in the description for you guys. I just put it on there and then I'll spread it around using a putty knife or a gasket scraper or something like that. And it gets that even finish and it doesn't settle too hard so it actually feels like that foam under you. And it's water resistant so you don't have to worry about decaying with the water on a jet ski. And as you can see, this caulking gun fills up this inch deep crevice all the way across and does a really good job of it. Okay, here's the new seat cover. It's mostly on there, so this will be the last shot before we go ahead and put it on the ski. Before I put that seat cover on, I want you guys to take a look at this wiring mess here and then just how dirty it is in this engine compartment on the jet ski. So before I put that on, I'm going to clean all of this out using a purple power degreaser. I'll put that down in the description. And this is that same engine compartment. Pretty unbelievable how we were able to tidy up that wiring and clean up. In here it looks so much better. And then the last two things I'm going to do before I clean this guy up is put in a new choke cable and key fob here. Okay, we got the new seat cover on there, and I'm really happy with how it looks on the ski. It definitely matches the ski really well, so I'll put that down in the description for you guys. This is without the cover, and then we put the new cover on here, and it looks a lot better on there. Wow. And how I restore this dash is to just not stay in one place too long with my heat gun. I take the heat gun, and I just work it all around. And eventually it'll all look like this. Um, I want to clean it off first though, so I don't bake any of the dirt on there. Only thing you really need to worry about is leaving it in one spot too long and maybe singeing it a little bit. So just try and avoid that. And to keep this amazing finish, I use Napa protectant. And I just spray it on here, let it sit for a couple minutes, then wipe it off. And wow, it looks so much better. Really blends in with the rest of the ski now. 
So in my CDU GTI restoration video, if you guys haven't seen that already, I'll put it in the top right corner for you. You'll definitely want to check that out. But I didn't finish that start stop button there, and this cover still needs to be put on here. So I had to order those two things. But here's the before of what it looks like. And here's the after. Um, I wasn't as happy with the fitment of this cover, but it still definitely looks a lot better than before. All right, here's the final look of these guys here. Um, put a lot of work into both these 96 Sea-Doo's, but I think they came out really well. I'm really happy with how they came out. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video and I've seen the other ones, go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps me keep these build series coming.